Yeah, I'm here to uh, basically uh, work on two projects, trying to set them up, uh, looking for uh, partners for both projects uh, in, uh, in France, mainly in Europe, and um, and the two projects are very different. Uh, I usually tend to work with first and second time producers. It's actually something that I consciously always try to look for when I do a new project and, um, and in one of these projects we are uh, uh, we are working with a first time producer called Sharif al Shadif Sharif has a uh, uh, first time director Sharif has done many uh, films, short films and a couple of documentaries and, uh, and uh, this is really his first feature film although he has done one short which was part of uh, a series of shorts uh, presented as one feature called 18 Days which was presented in Cannes in official selection uh, in 2011 based on the Egyptian revolution. Uh, but this is the first time he does a, you know, a, a long feature and, um, and Sharif, uh, you know, like many directors that I like to work with, uh, he knows very much what he wants. He, he has waited for five years to uh, tell the story which is based on a short, uh, short story by a famous Egyptian writer called Ibrahim Aslan called Two Rooms in a Parlor, and, um, and really the short story presented uh, a magnificent character, a 70-year-old man called Khalil, who has spent his whole life um, avoiding people. He lives with his wife uh, in a small apartment, uh, you know, a, a lower middle class uh, couple, and, um, and, you know, the story deals with what happens to that man after his wife suddenly dies. Uh, and how he has to change and open up to the world, open up to his neighbors and even decides to do something he's never done before, which is to travel and, um, and in doing so starts engaging with people um, and, and as a result changes his outlook on life and death and, um, and uh, this is uh, a film that we, are, we, are, uh, we have managed to attach to major uh, Egyptian star to this project and, uh, and just Yesterday, we have actually attached also a French co-producer, uh, Marianne Lair, who uh, Japonais films, and uh, she has done a lot of documentaries and, and uh, recently a TV series, and um, quite successfully, and uh, is starting to do feature films. So the project is, is on track. We are aiming to start in uh, October, I would say, to start production, and um, and to be ready for next year. And uh, the second project is. A second time director. The first film he did uh, was called uh, uh, Cairo 678 or Les Femmes du Bus uh, 678, uh, which was very successful in, uh, in France and several countries, including Egypt, of course. And um, his name is Mohamed Dieb. Mohamed Dieb is originally a scriptwriter and he uh, has also written his second feature film, which is called Clash. And, uh, and this is a film which I would uh, categorize as a, as a political action thriller. And it takes place uh, inside a police truck uh, between two groups of opposing protesters on the day of a massive protest. And this is after the uh, removal of President Morsi from power uh, at the end of June last year. So it's actually, in a way, inspired uh, by real political circumstances, but the story itself and the characters are fictional. And um, and it's uh, it's a very tense uh, you know uh, 90 minutes of, of, uh, of a very very uh, difficult situation where you have people who are uh, ideologically and politically uh, opposed to the point where they are uh, killing each other you know this is the reality that, that is happening in Egypt uh, or was happening at a certain point and is starting to calm down uh, to having to survive and somehow find a way to to work together to be able to live, you know, and, uh, and it's, it's really about coexistence in that sense. And, um, and Mohammed has written a really uh, solid script, and we're still, of course, working on it and, uh, and looking for, um, for partners here. Again, this is a project that we intend to do at the end of this year. The Clash project is, is I'm not the only producer, there's also a, uh, a co producer, uh, a company based in Dubai, and, um, and, and they actually, uh, 
you know, I came second uh, to to this project. They were the original uh, producers on this project, so I am I am uh, the second producer on this project, and uh, uh, I am the one responsible for handling the international uh, representation of the project. So. Um, and so these are the the two projects that I'm I'm currently here for, and uh, I'm hoping to uh, get off the ground soon. Well, the co-production platform is um, is a second time event for us. We did it last year uh, at a small yet I think successful level. We uh, Ismaili is not a rich festival, therefore we have a very limited budget, so we cannot invite too many projects and filmmakers. But we uh, we invite normally about ten projects, uh, including director and producer, and we invite industry experts and uh, yeah, and possible. Uh, training programs uh, so for example this year we have a training program with the doc campus and a training program with the Beirut DC uh, mainly for uh, directors and producers to uh, present and develop their projects uh, in a good way and uh, and of course uh, we try to invite uh, you know people who are really interested in working with the Arab world you know people who want to help or or, um, or meet Arab filmmakers and, uh, and producers and documentary uh, filmmakers especially because this is the specialty of, uh, of the market and uh, so we again we don't invite a, l a large number of people but we we try to make sure that we match make well so that you know some of these projects can actually get made and, and find some partners uh, and of course we have some awards but it's not a lot of money but you know it's uh, you know I think with with co-production uh, platforms pitching markets etc I think the benefit is not really the money you get from these things but it's more the exposure and uh, you know and the media and the press and uh, and being able to meet people the, the, the networking which is the, really the the, be the best prize that these uh, filmmakers can get so uh, that's the co-production market this year we have films from uh, all over the Arab world we actually have films that are even uh, without an Arab director but with an Arab subject uh, because our, our platform is not exclusively for Arab directors but it's for any uh, filmmaker with an Arab subject uh, and is possibly seeking an Arab uh, co-producer for example so um, so it's uh, I would call it uh, a small but hopefully one day a niche market which people will come to and try to try to be selected in because it, it hopefully will have that kind of impact and it really cannot be possible without the partners that we that we have, you know, the partners that provide the prizes, that provide the training, um, and the media coverage, and so uh, so they will also be there. And, and I think we'll all try to help the filmmakers in the end.